Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you some Manchester United transfer news. We're going to talk about Jaden Sancho going back to Borussia Dortmund, Anthony Marshall refusing to leave the football club until his contract expires, and we're going to talk about Ben Seema possibly joining Manchester United. I am giving my thoughts on all this, so. Right, let's start off with Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho's return back to Borussia Dortmund has been agreed. Fabrizio Romaro has reported that. Here we go, Sancho back to Dortmund. I'm very happy for Jaden Sancho. He's going back to Dortmund because he clearly does not have a future at Manchester United Football Club. He's gone on loan with a no buy option, so. Once his loan deal expires, he will come back to the football club and then questions will remain to be seen whether he has a future in this club or whether he'll be let go permanently. But if I was Manchester United, you know, I'd sell him permanently because he clearly has no place under Eric Ten Hag. You know, Sancho and Eric Ten Hag have fallen out with each other. So, to me... A permanent move away, I think, would do him the world a good. Because, you know, at Dortmund before, he was absolutely superb. And I really hope he can get his career back on track. I wanted it to work out for him at Manchester United, but sadly it hasn't. So, unfortunately for him, he's gone back to Dortmund. Well, it's not unfortunate for him. It's unfortunate that it's not worked out him at Manchester United. But going back to Dortmund is absolutely fantastic news. And I hope, really hope he can get his career back on track. Because when he's on form, he is a quality player, Jadon Sancho. And obviously, I wanted to see him perform like that at Manchester United. But sadly, it just was not meant to be for him. Anthony Martial refuses to leave Manchester United until his contract expires. Now, it just shows how much player power plays a big part at Manchester United Football Club. Because these players throw managers under the bus. They're doing it to Eric Ten Hag. But obviously, Ten Hag is part of the problem as well. But... Martial refusing to leave the football club is an absolute disgrace. It's like, who the fuck do you think you are refusing to leave from Manchester United where you are absolutely useless? You offer absolutely nothing to this Manchester United team. You are so fucking lazy. It's like, just get out of here, yeah? Refusing to leave until your contract expires. You don't care about this fucking Manchester United badge all you care about is being on the big bucks and you will carry on milking money out of the club paying for your wages until your contract expires fuck off out here right now I've had enough of Anthony Marshall he should have gone ages ago I know you're not going to get rid of all these players instantly that's just not possible but Marshall should have gone ages ago to not leave the football club is an absolute disgrace, honestly. I just wish he would leave the football club. If I could pay him a taxi to leave the football club, I would, honestly. Absolute fraud. Get out of here right now. Dear me, what an absolute joke. Now, Benzema, let's talk about Benzema possibly joining Manchester United. Obviously, he's had enough being in Saudi Arabia, like many others are looking to leave the Saudi Arabia league already. Jordan Henderson, Bobby Firmino, it's like, wow. It just shows that that league is absolutely useless if players are wanting to leave already. But my thoughts are Ben Seema possibly coming to Manchester United. Look, quality player, but he's about in his mid-30s, something like that. He's just absolutely, well, there's better players out there. He has experience, Benzema, but, you know, at that age, it's like you can only get a year or two out of him, really, and then he'll be washed. But, yeah, I don't think we should go for him. I think it'd be a big gamble. 
I know he has experience in that, but surely we got to look into younger players than Ben Seema. It's like if we sign Ben Seema, I'm sorry, the standards are in the gutter. And this football club is in the gutter. The standards already on the floor in this football club, which is absolutely ridiculous. Where if we showed high standards like this, higher standards, we would be in a much better position. But yeah, Ben Seema, I just do not understand why we're even considering Ben Seema. Great player for Real Madrid, but surely past his best now. Let me know what you think down below. In the comments, I will always reply. And yeah, I just wanted to quickly talk about this topic. What do you think? Let me know down below. Bye-bye.